Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to the Legacy SMP for another episode. This is episode 15, I do believe. If, if my if my counting is correct, it is episode 15. I'm super excited to be back here together with all of you guys. Last episode, we worked on a creeper farm. Uh, inside this hot air balloon right here, there's like a little creeper farm which produces just a little bit of gunpowder, which is super nice for us just to be able to create a few rockets for ourselves instead of having to buy them all the time and it looks pretty dope it adds so much to the skyline here and all the creepers are then collected up in a factory industrial chimney thing down here looks so cool i love it uh, today we are going to be working on our base even more uh, i want to add a super smelter thing uh, up there above the storage system and uh, maybe like make the foundations for a building i want to build like a huge building which is like um uh, holding on to this uh, big cliff right here. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, I think. So that's one thing I want to do. I also want to go to the end for a little trip there, collect some resources and stuff like that. The end is a place I really hate going to because I am super afraid of it. It's dark, it's scary, and it's not like this place. It's not like home. I, I really don't like it. But before we get on with that, I want to ask you guys for a little bit of a favor. Uh, a little while back, I asked you guys for uh, 500 likes as uh, a little bit of an experiment. Today, I want to do another experiment. I want to ask you to just leave a like. I don't want to ask for a number. I don't expect anything. I just want to see how many likes we can get, okay? Uh, if you like the stuff I make, the content I create and all that stuff, leave a like. Uh, if we get 200, 300, 50, 10, 0, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Just leave a like if you enjoyed the series as a little bit of an experiment to see how many likes that all counts up to. I realize that might sound a little needy here, uh, but... Thank you so much guys for all the support, I really appreciate it, and when I asked for 500 likes the last time, we smashed it, like way over, so thank you so much guys. So up here on top of the storage system, we have some space, which is going to be the future location of our super smelter, uh, it's going to be quite big, It's going to. I'm going to try to build it efficient, because <laughs> I like that, uh, but it's also going to be looking kind of cool. Uh, the reason why we're building it here is that it will be super simple to connect this up to the storage system here and the automatic sorting thingy we're going to do in the future here. So it's just going to be like a hopper line and it just goes straight down. Uh, it's going to make it super convenient if we want to connect this super smelter to the automatic sorting system. And it's going to make uh, things a lot easier, especially for like bulk smelting and stuff like sand or like glass. Uh, stone, iron, stuff just kind of straight into the storage system and we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, but what I want to do, I want to continue this texture here for a while and then dig out a little bit so we have some more space to work with here. Uh, and uh, then I'm going to kind of take you through my process while trying to figure out how to do this design here. Because I'm not going to follow any tutorial, I want to do this my way. Hey guys, Future Vigo here. I'm just here to let you know that the upcoming part of the video might be a little technical. If that is not for you, feel free to skip ahead a few minutes here. Uh, but if you like the technical parts, stay here, you're gonna like it. So when you want to do a super smelter, the thing you got to keep in mind is to try to split the items up as many times as possible so you can have uh, the maximum amount of items being smelted at the same time and that is what we're going to do here. I'm going to try to show you how you do that in a nice way so hopefully you can learn some. Uh, but basically what you're going to think of about as well is you need a chest where the items will end up. And put that in before you start doing anything, because if you don't, you're not going to have space for it. That, that's always how it is. So here we have this block, uh, or chest here, that is the, where I, all the items is going to end up. And basically to optimize this, we're going to put a hopper on top, and we're going to split it. So we have two sides, which both run into this chest right here. Uh, they will have like a furnace area on this side and a furnace ray on this side again, splitting it up to make it more efficient. And then we're gonna go out two, three, four, like that. And uh, two, three, four, like that from the middle. Um, again, and just two rows like that. And then what I wanna do, I wanna have half a stack of furnaces. So I'm gonna do eight hoppers from here. So one row like that, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
uh, and then we're gonna have uh, furnaces on top of those. I think I should have that ready. Looks like I do, uh, which is gonna be where all the smelting happens. So this is always very annoying. Uh, but we're gonna have these place on top. Excuse me, I thought I cleared out this place. So I have the furnaces on both sides now. Uh, we have then 32, eight times four, should be 32, I think. Uh, but thinking about it, I might actually extend uh, this one so that uh, I break that one and break that one. And we add a hopper. Let me see here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Again, splitting it up so that uh, these furnaces right here, they flow in the first one. Oh, there's another one here. <laughs> uh, and these furnaces will all flow through here instead of having... Uh, everyone kind of feed into this one hopper. We now have two hoppers f facing into the chest uh, and kind of avoiding a little bit of a bottleneck that could possibly have happened there. Uh, then what we need to do, I might not have enough hoppers for this. Uh, oh no, that's not going to work because then this hopper will go... No, we, we got to do the old design again, okay? Because <laughs> uh, we're going to have uh, hoppers on the sides of these furnaces, on both sides here, uh, which is going to feed the coal. Uh, for the fuel or maybe other kinds of fuel doesn't really matter. So we, we need to use that one uh, So we, we might get a little bottleneck there uh, But that's only going to be like the the speed of the hopper which is pretty good So I, I don't expect that to be a real issue right now So basically just fill these up this is all starting to look like something super technical, and I like it. I think it's looking pretty cool. Uh, what we're going to do now is we need to put some railings here. And that is the way we're going to fuel the system here and kind of make it work. We're going to have rows of rails, which uh, goes on top of these hoppers here. Uh, and then we're going to have a hopper minecart, which runs around and just dropping off items as long as there are items in the system. Uh, and when it, when it's empty, the minecart's gonna stop to prevent lag, okay? So that is something we gotta uh, try to get working. Uh, so it's gonna go, let's say, about there. Uh, and I need... I need uh, some normal ones. And I also need a few blocks. So basically, it's gonna go there and then it's gonna turn. It's gonna turn in here and then go into... Uh, like the chest or the area where we're loaded from the input chest. Uh, on the side here, uh, we're gonna... I think we're gonna do that. And then it's gonna go up. Turn around. Go down. No, actually, let's make that a power block. I think we can do that. Uh, and then that's gonna go all the way over here. Like so. And then we put just a block there. Uh, and then we have like a system, so it's gonna go uh, from the loading area, down here, over, turn around, get down here, stop, return. Uh, and then all we gotta do is power these, and we do that by placing a block there and a block there, because now we don't lock the hoppers, alright, that's kind of important. The reason why this is lifted up is because we need a, a little bit of a space here where the minecart on the bottom will go through. So that's gonna uh, just use this little gap here to, to wrap around. And this uh, this upper row of uh, hoppers here. So I realized the video it suddenly got super technical, and I don't want to do that too much. I, I like it technical myself, but I'm trying to make it fun for everyone to watch. So I've tried to add this loading system here, and uh, what I want to do here is that um, the minecart with a hopper, th these things, minecart with hopper, uh, it stands there. Uh, when when there's nothing in the system that will be smelted uh, and then when we have something like this iron ore uh, We put them in there This piston retracts it starts flowing uh, It will evenly distribute those and now it should stop Yeah, because now it's empty and now all of these should have iron ingots in them this looks seriously cool right now. I think it looks like I really know what I'm doing, but I'm but I'm really not. Don't tell anyone though. Uh, I have a problem though. That chest up there, the loading chest, is very far up. But we can work around that. Uh, now I want to show you how it works. I haven't tested it, so, so it might not work. But uh, let's throw in a, a stack of sand and see how quickly that is eaten by the system. Uh, redstone magic is happening. Yes. 
Um, might have to adjust that repeater there by the looks of it. Yeah, that's not completely uh, adjusted there. Uh, we have two minecarts up here again, which are both like retracting from this one and splitting it into two. That is one of the only ways to split um, items into two streams, is to have hopper minecarts that are stealing from the same. You can use normal hoppers as well, uh, but you gotta kind of split split it from a chest or something. So like that, we split it out and it's super quick and you can see they went two rounds. Uh, so that is, uh, should be like sand in, two sand in, yeah, oh, that one is empty, that's not too good. Maybe that means we need to extend it a little bit, maybe it doesn't have the time to drop off there. But that's a quick fix. I promise you guys, we're almost done with the boring technicals. I, I, you know, it's not, it's not boring. I'm, I'm joking, guys. It's fun. It, it, it's really fun. <laughs> you don't believe me? Please believe me. It, it is fun. I love it. Um, I'm just cleaning up a little bit of stuff here, and now I, I like to just kind of remove all the unnecessary blocks and stuff like this. Uh, the loading system for the fuel is also set now. Uh, so basically, what we gotta do now is if we just add these in there uh we will see the minecart start running around here hopefully i haven't tested this again yeah oh look at all the fire oh that's so cool that is so cool when they start lighting up like that it's going to run back and forth until it's empty now uh, and we will see stuff starting to fuel up in here we have some iron and we're going to see that and then we're going to see some of the sand or the glass as well in here oh that is really cool uh it is all bottlenecking kind of in here so we might have to redo this. Yeah, look at that. It's it's piling up here. That could potentially be a problem. We are in the end, and right in front of you is the most impressive melon farm that you will ever see. Welcome to the post melon. <laughs> Malone, melon, I don't know. Uh, this is built by Logical Geek, but oh dude, that is so scary. It's glass, yeah, it's glass there. <laughs> in front of you here, you see a melon farm and an enderpearl farm and xp farm. I haven't been here myself yet, but I want to check this out together with you. That goes down, all right. I don't feel safe here, even though I know it's glass here. You can barely see it, it's super scary. Is Logic the true king of the server? Yes, free entry, no one diamond. Well, I did fight on Logic's team while we fought the dragon, so I think I would say so, yeah. Okay, look at this cool place. I love the colors. Is it, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. We have other people in the end right now, so it probably isn't working. But let's see if we can get a drop or two. So there we have two of them falling down here. We can smash them like so, and they're dead. And the only reason why we're actually here, by the way, did we get any heads from that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the only reason why we're really doing this is because I need a couple of ender pearls uh, Because I'm gonna do some end raiding here where we uh, tour over and see if we can find uh, Some loot uh, possibly some choco boxes because I kind of want that uh, But also chorus fruit and stuff because I'm gonna need that to craft up some uh, End rods in the future. Oh, yeah after the jousting in the last episode the mythical sausage forgot his shield It's mine now. I think you gotta be kidding me. That looks like an end city, and I'm not sure it has been raided. <laughs> Man, did, is it possible to be this lucky? Everyone likes searching for hours, but well, well, let, let's go over there first to make sure it's not looted, but... It looks promising. There's no ship here, though, as far as I can see, but but that's kind of cool. Uh, we gotta find an entrance. That is usually an indicator whether it's been looted or not. Uh, yeah, it's probably looted. Oh, no, no, it's not completely looted. There is one shulk there and another one up there. So, uh, it, it actually, it's actually, it's a few of them here. Can we shoot them from here? I, I don't know how this works, guys. I haven't been fighting the shulkers for a long time. Yep, clearly we can. Alright, <laughs> that's cool. We found another one and this is even bigger. Well, it's not bigger, but, but there's a ship here. And uh, that means there's probably an elytra here. That is cool. Uh, let's uh, loot this thing here as well. Oh, there he is. Uh, the Garter of the Wings. Can we get him? As long as you have roof over your head, this thing is not too hard. But once you're out in the open, <laughs> it's super scary. Die now, thank you. Oh, wings. So cool. What else loot do we have? Emeralds? Uh, gold, I don't really need that. Oh, oh, that's a good one. And that is also a good one. Uh, and emeralds, uh, you know what, I'm gonna take take all of it, even though I have a gold farm. Let's just grab all of it. it. It's after all end loot, so, whoops. 
<laughs> so it is pretty cool. I've been doing some end raiding for quite a while now. I found three cities and two ships. I would say that I am very happy with that. We also got some of these uh, dragon heads and they are so epic. Uh, but now I think it's time for us to come back home to reality. Um, and uh, the best way to do that right now is that I am so far away. I have no idea. I took some screenshot of the coordinates. which is going to take me an hour to get back. So I think I'm just going to take all of my stuff and put it in my shulker boxes and stuff. Uh, and my ender chest, all the the important stuff, all right? The things I need. Um, so I'm gonna take out this one as well and just put everything in here and then just jump into the void, I think, and then just spawn back home. Home sweet home, and it's time for us to to see the loot we have. So I've kind of collected all of the important loot together here. A lot of great diamond armor, a couple of these have mending on them, which is great. Two pair of wings, two dragon heads, and about half a stack of diamonds and half a stack of emeralds. So that is pretty cool. But talking about emeralds and diamonds and stuff, let's head over to the shopping district to make sure our shops are still doing good. I am once again standing outside the sticky business shop, my slime shop over here, which unfortunately is kind of blocked by this new shop. And it's by the man himself, Fwip. <laughs> the Fwip and Jungle Logs. One stack for one diamond. That's honestly pretty decent price, I think. But it's kind of blocking my place, but I like it. It looks a lot better than mine, so, so I'm not really complaining. I just wish he did maybe just put it like... Here, <laughs> so mine was more visible, but anyway, uh, in here, have we made any sales? Uh, two sales, uh, I don't have slimes on me, so I'm not able to restock, uh, and no slime was. During the stream, we, we restocked this, because uh, my farm has been running like crazy lately. Uh, over here though, there's a chopper I want to show you, which is built by Gemini Tay on the server. She is not on, but I just got to say, this shop... It's just absolutely adorable. I love it. It's like this. Uh, what do you what do you call this? Ice snowballs, snow snow cubes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it's an ice shop, obviously. And you go up here, and, and you can buy ice. Um, so regular ice is one diamond per stack. Packed ice is one diamond per thirty two, uh, and blue ice is one per sixteen. Uh, and that's definitely not too bad of a price. Do you guys remember? When we show this guy who, who's the real wool, 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 wool king, the wool king on the server, yeah, he did the same prank again and and tucked my cart under here. I think we got to take other measures here to 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 really show who it is, cause he's just gonna keep on doing this. Uh, this that is uh, dang that's long's name shop. Let's see if he's uh, if he has made any sales. No, so no one is buying white wool from him either. So that's kind of good. We haven't lost any. Uh, wool, but I think uh, in the end of the video uh, or today's video, we're gonna solve this somehow uh, in a fun way. So uh, yeah. Oh, hello egg. Oh, uh, <laughs> so stay tuned for that because I have a few ideas on how we can prank him back. I'm on my way over to the gold club or the uh, gold stick, golden stick. Yeah, I, the names are really confusing. Yeah, to me as well. Uh, but this monstrosity of a farm has popped up. Uh, I think it must be a potion shop, right? I think it's also built by Avamance, but let's go over there and take a check here. Um, it's cool, though. Part of the Avamance group. Uh, the magic bottle, yeah, definitely built by Avamance. How's the prices here? Night Vision, one diamond. Oh, that is that. Okay, I, I don't really know how brewing works. That might be good, but two diamonds for nine. Nah, I feel like this is a little expensive to be honest, but but it's not it's not my cup of tea So I don't care. Let's go over here to the golden club this golden stick. Is it? I don't know <laughs> uh, And see if anyone has joined the most exclusive club on the server. Let's see here um, Oh wow. Oh wow. Wow Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we got to restock this with more passes it's great. Oh, look at that. I'm getting so rich. How many do we have now? I have, yeah, let's check out the ender chest here and just stack them up. Look at this. Oh, wow. That is over eight stacks of diamonds. And, whoa. <laughs> Insane.
I've been doing some building around the super smelter here and I gotta say it turned out cool It's very different from what I usually have. I used the endstone blocks the purple blocks uh, and It all just turned out pretty cool. It, it's massive and uh, much bigger than some of the other buildings we have But I think it still works It's some it's plain in some places here And that is because I don't really know what to do with this building yet uh, I just kind of started placing some blocks and I got carried away uh, but I like it. I think it's awesome. Um, it's some kind of clock tower. I've seen a lot of comments from you guys to add a clock tower to this place. And I love it. So you can see uh, up there we have the clock. And up above we have like cogs and wheels spinning and stuff. To give that little bit of a steampunk vibe. So that's kind of nice. Uh, and uh, let me show you here. Because I've done this stuff up above here as well. I have shaders on by the way, so uh, just to mix it up a little bit. So we come up here, uh, we get in here, we have this cool little entrance area where all the stuff that we have melted ends up. Through this here we get to like the back area. Uh, you can go in the door and get to the redstone bits where everything is happening here. But we can also go up the ladder here and get to where we drop in the items and stuff. That could possibly be done better. Uh, it's a little, yeah, time consuming to walk up here. But just drop in the items there and you drop in the fuel here. So it's all hooked up to the system there. Might change that in the future to uh, make it a little bit more convenient. But right now it definitely works. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. Really love the loom block. It's uh, one of my new favorite blocks for building. Especially like interiors, like a trim, like here. But that's kind of cool. Uh, something I want to do as well. I want to check out the the creeper farm to see how that has been producing. Because uh, I don't think we have done that in the video. That's that's enough. That, <laughs> let's take one of those stacks. Um, that's definitely enough. It's just going to kind of run in the back a little bit. And just like produce a little bit of gunpowder for me. I don't need bunches of gunpowder right now. So, so it's definitely working. Uh, and I have some sugarcane from the, the farm we did a while back up in the blimp here. And with that, we can make our own fireworks for one. So that is fun. Uh, and we don't have to buy them too much. And yeah, that's all right. So we are back in the shopping district where we were so brutally just blocked completely with dirt and grass and even trees and flowers. And by the looks of it, a little chicken here who's just bathing. That's so cute. Uh, I think we got to solve this problem here. Uh, I have an idea on how we can stop Scott from making anything. And we gotta move our shop, because this, this ain't working. But first, take a look at this. So we barricade his shop with his nice barricade here, and spread a rumor that his wool contains fleas. No entry, no one's gonna buy this wool. They're gonna come over here, and they're gonna see this beautiful little cart, and, and buy it from me instead. Captain Dolly, do you know what time it is? No, I am a sheep. It's the end of the video. Yes, finally. Well, guys, yeah, as you heard, it's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this design right here and what we might do in the upper part of it because it's massive. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you later. It's been Vigo Man, and I'm out.